Hey YouTube, so in this video we have a direct product of two cyclic groups and we have H here. H is actually a subgroup of this group and I just want to show you how to find all of the right cosets of H and G. So before we do that, let's maybe write down all of the elements in, in G. So remember, uh, this is all the remainders that you get when you divide a number by three. This is all of the remainders that you get when you divide a number by one. So this is actually a direct product of 0, 1, 2. This is called the additive group of integers modulo 3. And this is 0, 1. This is the additive group of integers modulo 2. And so these are basically all the remainders that you get when you divide a number by 3. These are all the remainders you get when you divide a number by 2. Okay, so to form a direct product here, I'm just going to come down here. I'll write it again. So G. So it'd be 0, 0, 0, 1. So 0, 0, 0, 1. That's H, actually. That's pretty cool. Uh, 1, 0, 1, 1. So 1, 0, 1, 1. And just in case I'm worried you can't see, so I'll write it over here. Uh, 2, 0, 2, 1. 2, 0, 2, 1. So that would be our group. And it has six elements, right? It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 3 times 2 is 6. Easy way to tell um, the order of the group. The order of the group is how many elements are in the group. So we have to find all the cosets uh, for h. So we'll just start adding stuff. So h is obviously h plus 0, so I won't bother writing that one down. So we have h. h is one of the cosets. OK, it's one of the cosets. Let's look at h plus 0, 1. And be really careful here. So we're adding 0, 1 to each of the elements in h. So 0 plus 0 is 0. 1 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 0 is 0. 1 plus 1, okay, it's 2, but now this element is in Z2, right? So 2 is equal to 0 in Z2. So that's it. That's it. So I think that's, oh, that's exactly the same thing. That's equal to H. So, and we should have known that already. Oops, drop my marker. We should have known that already because this element it resides in H. So this was the useless computation. So, oh, well, let's learn. H plus, so let's add this one, 1, 0. Whenever you have an element that's already in your, in your group and you add it, like when you're forming a coset, it's, it's equal to H, right? It gets absorbed in every time. Um, so let's work this one out. So this is going to be 1 plus 0, which is 1. 0 plus 0, which is 0. Okay. 1 plus 0, which is 1. 0 plus 1, which is 1. So that's a different coset. So we have 1. So that's going to be one of them. That's 1. That's another 1. So we've got 2 so far. Let's look at h plus 1, 1, see what happens there. So h plus 1, 1. So 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, which is 0 because we're in z2. So we get 1, 1, 1, 0. Exactly the same thing. So nothing new here, right? Nothing new here. Let's do h plus uh, 2, 0. So h plus 2, 0. So now we're adding the element 2, 0 to each of the elements in H. So when we do that, we get 2, 0, right? 0, 0 plus 2, 0 is simply 2, 0. Let's see, 2 plus 0 is 2, and we're in Z3, so we're good there. And then now we're doing um, 0 plus 1, so that's 1. So we get a different coset, right? We get this, this coset here. And now let's do H plus 2, 1. See what happens there. Hopefully you can still see here. So H plus 2, 1. That's going to be 2, 1, so 2, 1. And then 2 plus 0 is 2, right? we're in Z3. And then um, 1 plus 1 is 0, right, because we're in Z2 here. So so the same thing. So we only have three cosets. Looks like we have H, we have H plus 1, 0, and then we have H plus 2, 0. We could have, we could have written. These are the same as many others. For example, these are the same, so you could write this down instead of this. But looks like we have um, three cosets, so that's it.